What's up, guys? On today's episode of Full Send, I guess I skipped a step. My name's Juan Hernandez uh, here at the Trailer Parts Outlet with another episode of Full Send. Let's get straight to the point. This what you do and what you don't do. No bullshit. Sugar coat when it comes to repairs and maintenance. If I use you, go to Full Send. No edits, cause you go to Full Send. And we'll get you done right. Full Send. And we'll get you done right. subscribe button or hit the download button don't forget to do that share it with your friends but on today's episode just we're going to talk about self about you not you in general but just you as a person so yeah would that be self-worth i guess self-confidence mm-hmm. self-knowledge knowing your place in the world yes and no i mean depending on how you want to take it fucking shoe fits and it's yeah why not? So, what sets you apart from everybody else? What makes you unique? Is it your attitude? Is it your your industry knowledge? If you're talking about work base or career career base, is it your industry knowledge? Is it your jokes? Is it how you handle certain situations? Is it just the stupid looks you do and Somebody says a rhetorical question or, I mean, just what sets you apart or what makes you unique from everybody else? Each of us have a unique characteristic that sets us apart from everyone else. And once we can channel that or figure what that is, then you could use that to your advantage in so many different ways from... But lost my train of thought. So once you figure out what, what your, what sets you different, like I said, um, you can allow that to help you and build you up, whether it's a customer buck and clientels and why the hell do you have a hole in your wall? (laughs) This is, these are real life, not scripted. So he has a hole in his fucking wall. That's where the ethernet cable was. Gotcha. Okay. Anyways, back to subject. The when you find that that what makes you unique, it'll be a game changer. It'll allow you to reach different potentials both in your personal life and in your career. Um, knowing your strong points and your weaknesses allows you to avoid certain situations and also allows you to capitalize on others. And yes, it's it's not fucking scripted. I'm reading this because I if I not I get sidetracked a lot. Then I'm come back and hit up on all these points. Uh, don't get it twisted. Being a cocky motherfucker, nobody likes that. Don't, don't be that person. But if you have to deal with that, if that's your characteristic of how to deal with a cocky person or somebody who thinks their shit don't stink, then that's even a, more of a plus side because you got a lot of people who act that way. So to basically hit on all that. So you want to be, which one's the main one? That one. Okay. So you want to be. If, like I said, if it's your knowledge in the industry or whatever industry you're working with, I mean, when you're in, if you're in the sales department, that's fucking great because people like confidence. People like knowing that whoever they're talking to knows their shit. Um, I've had people, I know people who've lost customers because of lack of product knowledge and they'll go to somebody else. That there is very crucial. So whether that's your strong point or not, you want to know that regardless. You want to have product knowledge in whatever you're selling. Um, Is it your corny jokes? Is it, you know, are you easy to talk to on the phone? Are you laid back? Are you, you know, down to earth? Is it easy to conversate with you on the phone? Is it like, you know, we've never been strangers. We're fucking best friends for fucking life. And I've known you for two minutes. Um, All those will help you build or not build, but set you apart from everybody else. Set you apart from your competition. If you're in sales, set you apart from your competition. If you're trying to move up in your career path, whether it's at work or, you know, anything else. Um, Just being you and finding who the hell you are is what it's really about. 
Um, but no, uh, really, see, this is why I write notes because I get sidetracked easily. The, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, knowing your strong points. I mean, even if you have a weakness, if you can determine what your weakness is, like, do you hate over the phone confrontation just because it makes you stutter? Or are you better with in person confrontation just because you can handle the situation a lot better? Um, it, it's just, do you hate talking with or dealing with technical? very deep technical questions. And if so, I mean, you can pass that off to somebody else if you're able to, but knowing your strong points is important just as knowing your weak points, because you have to learn how to balance both of those out. I wonder who the fuck just called me. Um, but knowing how to balance both of those out will help you out a lot, especially in whether it's a career move or just personal life, personal growth. So yeah, I think that'll wrap it up for this one. Cause my mind went blank. So stay tuned for the next one because it shouldn't be that spontaneous. But anyways, if you haven't checked out women in the trailer industry, check them out. They drop every Friday. Caitlin and Lacey host that. I think they had a couple special guests here from the office. Um, I know in one of my future episodes or my upcoming episodes, I'm going to have Frank uh, come on. Me and Frank known each other for crap since 2012. I think, and um, he's just, he has a lot of knowledge, or not a lot of knowledge, but he's very, he understands the, the key points of the seven points of selling um, as far as building a company from the ground up and running it, maintaining it, and the importance of customer base. So stay tuned for that one. That should be in a couple next episodes. But other than that, that wraps it up for this one. Um, short, sweet, to the point. And yeah, so don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment. If y'all want to see Keefer eat another hot chip, let us know and we'll make it happen. And uh, that's Kiefer giving us a thumbs up right there. I think he's all for it. So I'll have to order a couple more. But yeah, stay tuned for the next ones. And don't forget to check out our website. And yeah, have a good one. Let's get straight to the point. This